Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Faye and I'm going to share a really fun, quick, easy idea meal prep option for your baby that, or your toddler, or for you actually. And I posted these cute little pouches on my Instagram the other day and I got a lot of questions about, first of all, where they were from and what ingredients I personally used to create my own squeeze bottles. Joseph, my son, who's one right now, as you guys are probably familiar with these, you can get these from Costco. Uh, they're the Kirkland brand. They are organic. This is the applesauce and this is the fruit and vegetable pouches. So these are really great for snack options, but if you look at the ingredients, straight up applesauce, which is, you know, a nice snack. Um, and these ones, the fruit and vegetable pouches, they're okay. The only thing I wasn't too thrilled about is that it's basically the bulk of it or a good portion of it is just straight up applesauce. And although it has like some strawberries, um, mango, and it says it has yellow carrot, um, it just, it's a very small amount of the vegetables. And I like the bulk of what Joseph eats at a meal or even a snack to be vegetable based. And I wanted to get some grain in it as well. So I decided to create my own blend. The interesting thing about this, if you buy the box of organic fruit and vegetable pouches from Costco, it's gonna run you around $15. On Amazon, I also found the same thing. They're 24 pouches and it was actually $19, almost $20. The one that I put together, I did all the math of all the ingredients and this is all organic ingredients and it's much more nutrient dense than the one that I created and it was somewhere around five dollars total for all of the ingredients obviously you have to pay for these pouches separately I got these off of Amazon yes you're gonna have to pay for these but these are reusable you can use them over and over again so these pouches are a little over three ounces and total the entire box is around 70 ounces of actual food product so all of these ingredients I have are going to add up to about 70 ounces as well but all of my ingredients cost somewhere around five dollars and this is all organic and very nutrient dense ingredients so I'm gonna show you guys how I put that together right now here are all of my ingredients. We have some beets, carrots, applesauce, kale, oatmeal, and coconut milk. And then we have about a tablespoon of coconut oil and a little bit of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Now, the quantities here are varying, but if you can tell, the most ingredient I have here is gonna be the beets. The second ingredient is gonna be the uh, oatmeal, and then we have the applesauce, and then the beets, and then the kale. And the reason why, it was actually two and a half cups of kale, but by the way, all of our vegetables were steamed, um, and it shrinks tremendously. This was actually half a bunch of kale, so it looks small now, but this is quite a decent amount of kale. The cool thing about this is that you can get all organic, all of these vegetables and even the applesauce is organic. The oatmeal you can get organic as well and I priced it accordingly. And then your coconut oil is organic and your coconut milk is organic. I love nutrient density and for me it's about complementing the foods. So you have your fruits and your veggies and then you have protein in the oatmeal and then you have fats coming from the coconut oil. So total this is you getting all of your macronutrients, your carbs, protein, and your fat. So I'm really excited about this recipe and the best part is it actually tastes really good. So from here on, it's straightforward. Um, just a quick word about these pouches. These are actually five ounces, so they're two ounces larger than your regular small pouches that you can get from Costco, the apple and the vegetable and fruit ones. These are just three ounces. So this is more like a meal versus these are more like a snack option. So let's go ahead and get started. Got your Vitamix and literally all you're gonna do is pop everything into this Vitamix. And just a little heads up about all the measurements for this recipe is in the bottom bar below. I measured everything out raw. The kale and the veggies and the oatmeal, all that was before it was cooked because obviously oatmeal expands and kale is really big and then shrinks down once you steam it. All the vegetables were steamed. I opt for steaming over boiling because the steaming preserves all of the nutrients inside of the cell walls of the plant versus when you boil a lot of the minerals and vitamins just leak into the water and you lose those when you strain. So I highly recommend steaming your vegetables over boiling them. Here we go. Carrots in first. Throwing in our beets. Then our kale. Throw in the oatmeal. Our applesauce. And our coconut milk. And then I'm going to throw in the coconut oil and the seasoning, which is the cinnamon and the salt, just after we blend it down a little bit. Give that a nice seal, pop that on your Vitamix, let it rip. You might need to dance with it a little. I just 
love that rich color. It is just gorgeous. So now we can go ahead and add the coconut oil. You could add more, but this is just about a tablespoon. This is a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of salt just for some extra flavor. Because I found that the cinnamon kind of gives it like a pumpkin pie flavor. And I just have to say, if you don't have a Vitamix, I'm truly sorry for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, seriously. But the Vitamix is probably one of my favorite inventions when it comes to trying to live a more plant-based vegan lifestyle. And if you're subscribed to this channel, you might actually win one. I love Vitamixes so much that I plan to gift one as a kind of launching to this channel type thing. So if you want one, go ahead and subscribe. So this turned out to be a quite a good amount. This is 64 ounces, almost 70, just shy of barely a cup. So this right here is a lot of nutrients. Now in the previous recipe, I did not include beets, but then I figured I need some more iron and I need some more phytochemicals and more antioxidants. What's gonna work really well and not overpower in flavor? Beets was the answer. And I'm gonna taste this because yeah, uh, when I get hungry and I just don't feel like making anything and I know that there's something around the house that is actually really full of all the nutrients that I need, this is what I'm gonna eat. Mm. Okay, it tastes like pumpkin pie with a little bit more fruit in it. It tastes like a fruity pumpkin pie. And you can obviously make it a lot sweeter if you add more applesauce, but I think this is enough because carrots anyways are pretty sweet. And because of the cinnamon, there's like two and a half cups of kale in this thing. So talk about loading veggies and it actually still being good. Now comes the fun part where we get to fill these babies up. Um, there's a little opening at the bottom and of course you need to seal uh, the tip. And then it's just a matter of pouring in your contents. There's a little line right over there where you're supposed to stop, otherwise you won't be able to seal it. But I found that you need to actually fill it up a little less than that, otherwise it just still comes out. So here we go. And the oatmeal does a really good job of thickening. See, that was too much, even though it was like below the line. So what I do, I just scoop out the spoon a little. And then you just seal this baby up. And then a little extra you can squeeze right out and then wash it. But then there you have a ready-made food packet. Like put the date and the information. And if you want to just put the ingredients on there so that you remember. And there we have a second one, and this is ready to go. And the great thing about these little guys is that you can throw them in the freezer. Here are a couple that I have that are already frozen, and all you have to do is pop these out the night before, put them in the fridge, um, or take them out at least an hour before you want to feed it to your child so that it's well thawed. You can't microwave these from what I understood, even though um, they seem to be a better type of plastic, but they don't they don't recommend that. They are BPA free and you can pop them in the, in the dishwasher. You can put them in your dishwasher, but I prefer just washing them with the brush that you use for your baby bottles anyway and just stick that in there and clean it out and then just put it on your like bottle rack or something and it dries really well. So here we have a bunch right here that are all nice and bottled up. I just put this whole thing in the fridge and um, Joseph can get through them within like three to four days, um, which is really great and he just enjoys it. He just sucks it all up. So I do have more than I needed because I already had some bottles that were previously made. Some were frozen, some are in the fridge. For the extra, I just put them in these little cute mason jars. These are a little over seven ounces, which is fine because I can just feed this to him with a spoon. And anyways, he always kind of wants more every time he's done with one of those pouches. It begins to get a little stickier and thicker. The starches in the oatmeal have been released and they are absorbing water. So that's another thing that's kind of good though because if it's a little watery don't panic and don't add more milk just make sure to let it sit for a few minutes and then those starches will expand i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make some really tasty yummy healthy cheap uh, squeeze packs for your kids and again this is for like ages six months and up um i just had one yesterday so it's totally good if you have any questions comments or requests you can go ahead and post those in the bottom bar below and i will try to get to them later on so we ended up paying about $5 total for all the food that you saw. And depending on preparation, it can run you about maybe half an hour total in terms of prepping, cooking, and cleaning. I think that's so much more cost effective than paying $15. I'm not hating on these pouches. I like them, I use them. But in terms of cost effectiveness and nutrient density, you're $5 for almost 70 ounces versus $15. So you're looking at about third the price. And again, more nutrient density and it's cleaner ingredients and it's coming straight from your blender into your baby's tummy or your own tummy. So I hope you guys found this helpful and that this might encourage you to save a little bit more money and make your own baby food from home. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.